Now let's talk about um, acids and bases, their strength, and then we'll get into some ionization constants and equilibrium. So strong acids and strong bases. These completely dissociate in aqueous solution. So that means the concentration of your acid, which is abbreviated because we're saying acids are proton donors, A for acid. So the concentration of your acid is the same as your concentration of hydrogen ion. Or if you want to say H3O plus, that works too. I just say H plus. So that means the concentration is equivalent. That makes things easy for us later on in the math. Okay, so there are seven acids that you need to know. This goes on to the next page. One, two, three, four, five. Hopefully, you may remember some of these. If you don't, make some flashcards. You need to know these because I'm not going to tell you if it's a strong acid or a strong base. I expect you to know them. Okay, so perchloric acid, HClO4. Sulfuric acid, H2SO4. Nitric acid, HNO3. Chloric acid, HClO3. Hydrochloric acid, HCl. Hydrobromic acid, HBr. Hydroiodic acid, HI. That's not high, that's not Hawaii. Now, with a strong base, we're just going to say our generic formula is BOH because all of our strong bases have a hydroxide group. So, B for base and then OH for hydroxide. So that means it's going to completely dissociate. So our concentration of our base is going to equal sort of with a few exceptions. I'll talk about those in a minute. The concentration of the hydroxide. So again, that makes things easier. So lithium hydroxide LiOH, sodium hydroxide, NaOH, potassium hydroxide, KOH, uh, rubidium hydroxide, RBOH, calcium hydroxide, CaOH2, strontium hydroxide, SrOH2, barium hydroxide, BaOH2.